Greetings fellow descendants, my name is Lars, and today I want to talk about, very short, very quick, the mod update changes in Season 1 here. So they stated in Season 1 that they were going to allow you to overwrite a slot socket type with a new socket type, and then you can pick and choose those socket types uh, as you needed. So I have two sockets here that are pre-done for Kyle. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to assign a, mo a socket type to this. So. We have them laid out here. This is a much better layout than before. Before, you had to just pick and choose at blank slots here and couldn't see anything. Now you can actually see which slots are which. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. I'm going to override it into a one of these. Let's try this. So now it has both of these listed, which means I should be able to pick between one or the other. So if I go ahead, how would I do that? Change socket type is in the bottom C at the bottom of the screen underneath my mods here. So for my for me it's press triangle, and I can change socket type. Oh. And I can reassign it by clicking it to this one. Confirm, and we're back in. So when you go ahead into this socket type selection mode, you can see all of the socket types available for all of your mod slots, and then you can uh, change them as needed to whatever you want. So while this isn't necessarily the most ideal setup, because you know you still would have to grind to get uh, to resaw out some of the sockets, at least you can build your core like six or seven mods with your flexible like three or four slots that you want to change mods out on for different builds, and then you can set them all on your different settings here however you want to, right? So like setting two could be your mobbing build where you swapped out like these four slots to the other ones. Setting three could be your um, whatever build, maybe a different build entirely for a different transcendent mod that you set up all of these slots for. And setting one could be your primary build, whatever you want it to be. You can set up all these slots. And then you could just change out for your setting one, whatever you wanted. Like you could swap in and out of certain builds uh, as needed after you've catalyzed enough of your slots. Which again, yeah, you still need to farm up Crystallization Catalyst and you still need to level your character a bunch, but for those of you that are just playing one character a lot, it's not going to be too bad because one, you already understand the character and you already know what it is you want from it, kind of, you know. As And two, they did increase the leveling speed uh, by a bit. You do level faster. They've given more XP from just doing stuff. They've also given more XP from stuff like special operations, as well as we are getting more like event-based XP boosts that they stated that were not present in the preseason. So leveling should become at least a little bit easier to allow for you to catalyze your stuff uh, more effectively. But this is a great change, I feel, being able to flexibly like set yourself up with different slot types onto a single slot and change them as needed is pretty nice. And we also get this handy screen here where you can actually see your slots now. Before it was so annoying to have to be like, all right, I want to slot this one into which slot was it again? Back out, double check that I even have the right slot that I'm picking and then double check the, the socket type that I wanted to. <laughs> Oh, uh, I did that so many times because I kept forgetting either which socket type or which slot it was. But now it's so much better. You can see exactly where you want to go. And then all you forget is which socket type you want to do, which isn't as bad because you're not trying to remember as many things at one time. Uh, that's all I wanted to say with this short video. I will have plenty more season one content uh, coming through here. In fact, this is probably may not even be the first bit, but there's just a ton of stuff I got to go over and talk about, but we're going to go ahead and get into that with the following videos. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more TFD content, especially now. There's tons coming, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.